everybody, it's Kristen. So do not be alarmed, I do not have any makeup on. It has been, somebody actually reminded me that it has been a long time since I've done one of these. And this is a video where I do kind of a get ready with me with a kit that I've purchased from QVC. Again, I purchased this kit. Uh, this is the kit from Doll 10. It was the Today Special Value a few weeks back. They have no idea who I am. Um, and I just, I have not tried anything from them. And they, they, I believe this brand used to be called Dalton, like D-A-L-T-O-N. But there must have been some kind of issue with that. I don't really know. But now they are called Doll 10. And I happened to catch the um, QVC, like actually saw it on QVC. And I was so impressed with like the crazy coverage of the foundation that I thought I would order it and just try something new. And that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you the items that come in the kit. I have the brush here because I didn't want it to fall out. But it comes with a duo-ended brush. One for concealer, and then this is for foundation, and that's the end for concealer. I don't love a duo-ended duo -ended brush, but we'll see how that one works for the products that are in All the right, kit. So it comes with the foundation, a concealer, a cream blush, mascara, and then this is a duo-ended lip product. There's a lipstick on one side and a gloss on the other. So um, we are just going to go ahead and get into it. All right, I've zoomed you in just a little bit. And the, found, the foundation is called the Hydra Gel Foundation. And again, I don't know a ton about this. The Hydra Gel portion makes me think it should probably be hydrating. I did put, um, I have a feeling I have way too much on my skin. Oh, and I got it mined in the shade Fair. I have a feeling it's gonna be a little light for me right now. I put some over here, but I meant to do the half and half face. So let's just see. I have a feeling the Hydra means that it's supposed to be um, like hydrating, like, like, like Kristen, seriously. Well, I have to say, I'm already kind of disappointed. I'm going to move this over here a little bit because um, on QVC, she barely put any on her hand. She had like markers, like a red and a blue marker, and she put it over just the tiniest little bit. And it seemed to, like, it, it cover, I Snapchatted about it because the coverage was so crazy. So, I mean, I'm not saying I want a mask on my face, but it just isn't quite exactly what, and Fair seems to be a fairly good match for me. I'll have to bronze up a little bit because I have a little bit of color on my chest. All right, so I realize I have this here, but half the face, half the face. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. This is generally what I do. I do sort of a thin layer, and then I like to just build it up a little bit. I have a towel on my lap. I like the brush. The brush works well. It's, it's works. It functions like a like any sort of flat top kabuki. All right, that, that built things up well. So let's just move over here. I did put a primer on, by the way. I, used, I put on the Chanel. Um illuminating whatever it is I have to look a uh, LeBlanc de Chanel so I thought I had put too much on my hand but I just have a little bit left that I'm sure that I, I will use up so I just want to look it is buffing into the skin very nicely. Like it's very, it's very lightweight, which I really like. So so far, I would say it is good coverage. It's not as much as I thought it was going to be, but it is good coverage. And you can't, you can't really see that it's on my skin. I really like that. Let's just get that all blended in, shall we? Up into the hairline. I don't see it making, like showing any dry patches or anything like that. Oops, I have some over here. I think I didn't blend in well. All right, so that is, okay. <laughs> so while I'm trying, trying to form my words. So while it wasn't like the crazy holy moly coverage, I thought it was going to be when I very first put it on. It definitely was just kind of doing two sort of thin layers. It built up to that. I don't know how this would apply with a beauty blender, but... So I think, I and shade-wise, I think if I had the light here, it would be too dark. And the fair's a little bit too light. Probably a combination of the two would be perfect. But I can totally make this work with a little bit of bronzer, so... All right, let's move on to the concealer. 
And this is um, also in the same sort of, it's got a little spout thing. So I'm going to put, whoa! It's very, very creamy. It came out faster than I thought. So I have just kind of that much. I'll put it here and then use the brush. I just went against my own rule of, usually I try to put, the, put it out here and bring it in so that I don't have so much where most of the lines are, you know what I'm saying? It's very creamy, blends out very well. Yeah, I like this brush too. I wish it, I wish they were separate brushes, but. Did I smack myself? Just gonna flip it around, make sure it's nicely blended. All right, I just had like a hard look at it up close. And it, I don't see it yet going into any of my fine lines or wrinkles, so that's so that's really good. That was also in the shade Fair. So I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer before I move on to their blush. And I'm just using the one that I'm using, which is the MAC um, Aphrodite Shell and my Tom Ford bronzer brush. Just, you know, just warm things up a little bit. I always try to make sure I hit this one spot right here with my bronzer because this spot right here is always white. Always. Doesn't matter what I do. So it doesn't really say much about the blush. The blush looks like this and it's called Kiss on the Chic. And it's a hydrogel cream balm. And it looks like that. It's a very pretty shade. And I'm sure that they intend... Alright, we'll try. I'm sure they... I think they wanted you to put it on with your, with your fingers which is definitely not my preferred cream blush. I like to use my, which I have right here, my e.l.f. Small Stipple. It does blend very nicely into the skin. I mean, I'm not, you can see I'm not really doing much. I'm still gonna grab my, my brush though and just blend it out. <laughs> what can I say? I'm definitely a brush girl. I much prefer applying with a brush. So we're just, everybody have diff, has differing opinions of where one should place one's blush. I will say this, and this is about cream blushes in general. I always feel like if I'm using just the cream blush, which is what I'm doing today, it takes just a little bit longer to make it look, I don't know, it, for me it's harder to, harder to make it look blended into my skin. I don't know, maybe it's just me. This morning, I'm drinking Caramel Pecan Scone Coffee from Door County Coffee. It's delightful. All right, so I put on my eyebrows and did my eyes, and I just used the Pixie, this little thing, as a base, and then I used the Walking on Eggshells Trio. I just put the eyelid shade all over the eyelid. I have this in my crease and um, underneath my lower lash line, and then I took Max Wedge and put that in the crease because I needed something matte. So. All right, so the next thing that was in the kit is the mascara. And this is Effort Lash. Effortless, Effort Lash Mascara. It's a big, um, kind of a thicker tube. And it's an interesting little wand here. Not my favorite kind of wand. But let's see what we have here. Well, for the sake of you being able to see the mascara, I'm going to do my tight line after. Okay, so I will say, and I didn't put any liner on the on my upper lash line either, and I will zoom you in in a second, but um, I have to say that it doesn't, it's not pokey like a lot of these um, sort of wands are. Well, I have to say that that is delightful. <laughs> Let me zoom you in. Okay, so I'm looking at the viewfinder so I don't poke myself in the eye, but 
it really separated. This was just one. I didn't go back in for any more. It's not clumpy right out. I'm really, I gotta tell you guys, I'm, I'm impressed with this. One of my longtime subscribers had said that she really liked it too, and I can see why. I mean, we'll see how it wears and everything, but so this is my lash without anything. This is with. All right, I did the other eye. I'm just going to add a little on my lower lash line. I don't always wear mascara down here. It just kind of depends. But I want to, I have this one wonky lash down there. But I want to see if it's going to do any sort of weird transfer or anything, of course. I'll report back. This is obviously one that I'm going to have open for this quarter. If you guys didn't see my last mascara, Madness, I'll list it below. Um, you guys really seem to like the close-up when I did it with the, on one eye and not on the other eye. All right, so lastly is the dual-ended product here. It's the Doll 10 Hydrogel Luxe Lip Color and then Luxe Lip Gloss. And let's just have a shot here. It's pretty nude. It definitely goes on like with a nice rich creamy feel to it. And I would say on its own it's a satin finish. And then the gloss definitely pinks it up a little bit. I don't think I'd ever wear that lipstick shade on its own. I just don't feel like that's a good shade for me. But together, it's really nice. All right, so let's just do a little rundown of the products in the kit one more time. And I will list the kit below if it's still available. I'm not sure if it is or not. I know it wouldn't be at the same price, but the kit itself might still be available. If not, I'm certain you could buy the items separately at any rate. So the first item that was in here is the dual ended brush. This you maybe can't buy separately. And I have to say, I did really like that. It's very similar to the e.l.f. one that I use for my for my under eyes. And so I did really like that. And this this would be very nice for travel for certain. I don't love a dual ended brush because, the, you know, I stand my brushes up in there. But um, worked very well, blended very well. It's not one of those ones that is too dense that won't work product in. So I did really like that. It's too soon to tell, so I will continue to use this and I'll bring you a review if you want to see a review specifically on this foundation. I actually have a couple of foundations lined up I need to, to be reviewing for you guys. But I would say this, it's very lightweight. I didn't set it with a powder, but it doesn't feel like it needs to be set with a powder. It does have good coverage, you know, kind of the more I look at it. I don't think it like got better, you know, like like the Dior Star, how that one gets better as it sits for a little bit. It's it's not that. I just think I like the look of it better as I'm going on. It's kind of you this know. This is clearly you know just my first impression. I don't know anything about how it wears or that sort of thing yet, but I will come back to you with that. My initial, you know, my initial reaction to it is I do like it, and I like the coverage, and I like how it feels. It definitely isn't one that needs to be set. It does, it, but it doesn't seem to be drying right now. Now it's summer. I don't know how that would be in the winter. We can revisit it then. Uh, the next thing in here was the Doll 10 Hydra Concealer. Nice concealer. I am very surprised. I keep looking in the mirror and I'm not seeing any, like almost every concealer that I own. Once I put it on there, I wait a little bit, I'll do something else, I'll come back and then I have to wipe a little bit out of my um, fine lines beneath my eyes. And there is, let me, we'll just take one more look. Yeah, there really isn't anything in my fine lines. So I'm really impressed with this. We will see how it wears. I like the coverage. It's not super full coverage by any means. I don't think this is. And part of that could be that it's fair. I, I don't know. Maybe the light would have been better. I think I really think I'm kind of in between. But so that's that. And the blush, I like the blush. It's not, you can see, hopefully you can see. I mean, even though it's hard to tell for certain on camera, but it's very, very light. If you are much darker, and I don't know if they, if different sh shades came in different kits. I don't think so. If you are much darker than me, I'm not sure it would really show up on you. Um, again, it's not, it's not tacky. It's definitely one that kind of feels like it went sort of, I'm putting it on my hand here to show you guys, cream to powder. Um, and it is very pretty. It's just very faint. Um, yeah, it's more like a wash of color than anything else. So, and that may be what it's intended for. The mascara, I think, I, I really feel like the mascara is going to be a winner unless it transfers. We will see, you know, too soon to tell. We'll, we'll revisit that in three months when I have my next mascara madness. But I have to say, I really like how it applied. I like how it separated. It, 
I don't think that it, I'm looking, it didn't, it maybe added a little bit of length, but it definitely separated and added some volume. So I really like that. I am impressed with that. And then the lip, sh the lip products, I guess the dual ended lip thing, the lipstick went on very, very nicely, very creamy. That's the kind of formula that I like and I prefer satin finish. I think it's really comfortable. And then, you know, to put a gloss on top of it and the glossing is very nice. It is not like you know, lines where you get lines sometimes. It's not like that. It's very comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel super sticky. So those are my first impressions on these products. I will come back to you with more impressions, you know, in the next few months. Um, favorites, fails, who knows? We will see. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I'll list any information that I can find um, for you below. Hopefully there it is still available on QC, QVC if you're interested. And I think that's it. So thank you again for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye. What you doing out there, game? Please. Oh. Bobby's putting Perrine down.